Hello and welcome to the Adopt a Pet Show. We are filming our show today on Monday, October 1st. Yes, it is October. It's finally going to be fall in the south. I know it doesn't feel like it, but yes, those cooler temperatures are going to start kicking in very soon. But thank you so much for tuning in to our show. I just want to welcome you. My name is Jeanette Higgins and I'm a volunteer with the Noonan Coweta Humane Society. And what our group does is we come down here to Coweta County Animal Services and we showcase as many of our wonderful fur friends as we can. Cats, dogs, puppies, kittens. We've even had an occasional goat, ferret. You never know what you're going to see on our show. But thank you so much for choosing to tune in today. And uh, I just want to make sure that I thank everyone who came out to Ashley Park this past weekend for Fido Fest. It was our second annual Fido Fest 5K run and fun run. We had a blast and we hope that you will make sure that you mark your calendar next September to be able to join us for that. And thank you to our sponsors as well who sponsored our Fido Fest event. But anyway, back to the good stuff. If you guys just want to stay tuned, we have a great show for you today and we hope that you enjoy it. And folks, the first special guest we have on our show today is Emily, and Emily is a Lab Retriever Mix. She is hanging out in A4, that is her kennel number. We don't know her age, but we know she is fully grown and at least one, but you can certainly check with the veterinarian here at Animal Services and she can verify Emily's true age. But, you know, we like to be nice to the girls. We don't always want to tell the ladies age. But anyway, we are looking at the fact that Emily was picked up as a stray from Brenda Allen Drive. She wasn't wearing a collar. She didn't have any type of ID and no microchip. Don't forget, you got to microchip your pets. But I do need to mention that she is heart room positive. But guys, that is not the end of the road for Emily. She has lots of life and lots of love still to give. And we have an incredible donor who has donated funds to cover heart room treatment. She's trying to wave at you. So if you want to get Emily, we do have somebody that can that will cover the funding to get her heart room treatments taken care of. And then you don't have to worry about it anymore. So if you're interested in this beautiful girl, she's been here at Animal Services since May. And she is just so ready to go home and play with you. She loves to play ball. She loves to just hug and love, and she's a great family pet. So come on down and rescue Emily. She's down here at Animal Services just waiting for you. <laughs> and guys, this is my buddy Taylor, and I cannot believe that Taylor is still here at Animal Services. He's been here since June. He's so stinking cute, and this little boy is growing up here now. Now, Taylor's hanging out in C1. He's got two other friends in there, Nutter Butter and John, and I'm hoping to get those little boys on a little later. Usually I can put them all on together, but they're getting so big and so wiggly and squirmy that I can't put them all on together. But I tell you what, this boy, Taylor, he is one handsome fella, and he really looks like a Maine Coon. If you've ever owned a Maine Coon, they're absolutely gorgeous cats and highly affectionate. He's, he's definitely got all the looks for it, for sure. He's even got the little tufts of fur that are coming right on out of his ears. But he is a snuggler and a lover and just so sweet, and I cannot believe he's still here. But if you're interested in little Taylor, hurry on down here to Animal Services. Like I said, he's hanging out in C1. I believe by looking at him, he's probably about four months old, but just so cute, full of personality, full of life, and full of lots and lots of love. So if you want this boy, hurry on down here because he's been here way too long and he really needs to be in a home where he can play and just keep you company and just be your buddy and curl up at your feet. So come on down and rescue Taylor. Okay guys, we have a girl that is so excited to be here today. This is Angelina. She is a terrier mix, uh, at least a year old, hanging out in A12, that's her kennel number. And this beautiful girl was picked up on East Freeman Street. She was actually confiscated as a cruelty case, but look at her, she's so happy. Obviously, whatever her story is and whatever her past is, she doesn't hold it against any of us because she is one happy girl and that tail just keeps on wagging. So we know that she is super, super happy. Now, Angelina here is heart room negative. She's had all of her shots. She's been dewormed and she is just so ready to go to a new home and make somebody else happy too. <laughs> She's good kisses too. So if you want a dog that is just going to be your best friend and hang by your side and be a very loyal companion, then definitely Angelina is the girl for you. So come on down and rescue Angelina. Oh my goodness, guys, this little boy is one of my personal favorites. I even got to nickname him. I nicknamed him Nutter Butter. 
and he is just so sweet. And I cannot believe how much he's grown up since he's been here at Animal Services. So that just tells you he's been here way too long. He's trying to make the biscuits in my lap here with his little paws. He's just dancing away. But little Nutter Butter is in C1, and he is absolutely precious. And if you've never owned an orange male tabby, then you are missing out because they there's something in their DNA. There just has to be because they are some of the sweetest, most affectionate kitty cats you will ever, ever own. And Nutter Butter is certainly no exception to that. He is just as sweet as he can be. Look at him. He's making biscuits. Oh, my goodness. Now, Nutter Butter... Like I said, is hanging out in C1 with his other little friends, and he was picked up as a stray from Hayward Bishop Way. He's been here since June, way too long. He is approaching four months um, or more. It might, it might even be five months, and he is just so ready to to go to his forever home. I love his golden color and his little gold eyes. Oh my goodness, look at that personality. He is so sweet. He lets you rub his belly and he is wonderful. So if you want a sweet little boy that is gonna be um, just a joy to be around and to have in your home, then definitely you wanna come meet little Nutter Butter. So come on down and rescue this little boy. He just wants to give you lots of love and lots of sweet kisses. So come on down. And, oh, yeah. and folks, this is Beatrice. She is so, so sweet. Um, this girl here is just absolutely loving these treats that we're giving her for sure. Now, Beatrice is hanging out with A10. That's her kennel number. She is at least a year old. And she also is a dog that was picked up as, or confiscated rather, as a cruelty case. But I tell you what, this dog has got a heart of gold. And no matter what has been done to her, she's had her ears cropped. She's had lots and lots of puppies. But she is just absolutely precious. She loves people. She just loves belly rubs and getting all kinds of attention. And she's just a big baby herself. So if you're interested in Beatrice, let's give this girl a better life. You know, she has a story to tell. And I wish that we could speak dogs so we could hear what her story is because she's got a lot to say but she is absolutely wonderful as you can see loves giving kisses to our volunteer Amanda and is just a precious precious dog she just needs somebody to just love on her and to just understand that you know she's had a little rough but hey it hasn't faced her a bit she still loves people so if you're interested in this girl hurry on down here to animal services and Beatrice I promise you will be your friend for life and you'll not be disappointed and you will probably have the best friend you've ever had in this dog. She wants to give hugs now. So come on down and rescue Beatrice. <laughs> and folks, this little guy is John and he is just waiting his turn to be adopted. This poor boy has been here since May, just hanging out. At least he's got some friends in his cage. He's got Nutter Butter and Taylor in there playing with him. But he is just so ready to go. He wants to have his home too. And little John here, because he's been here since May, he is at high risk for losing his life. He is on the next euthanasia list, but we don't know when they're going to perform the euthanasias. We don't know if it'll happen this week. We don't know if it'll happen early next week. We just know that he is at high, high risk of losing his life. I mean, basically, if he's not adopted, he's going to lose his life. And we don't want to see that happen to this sweet little boy. I mean, he's just this gorgeous jet black fur. He's got big gold eyes. He's such a sweet boy. He's just been here so long. He just doesn't need to be here one more day. He wants nothing more than to jump down on the floor, I'm sure, and just play. But oh, well now he's snuggling with me. What are you doing, boy? He's just so sweet, guys. So if you're interested in John, please hurry on down here to Animal Services. You know, like I said, this boy has been here just way too long and really needs to get out of here and get a home into a home. And um, like I said, he is he's at high risk for losing of life because he's been here so long. So if you're just interested in this boy, come on, just, just meet him. Come down and just meet him. And I know that you're gonna love him because he is a sweetheart. He usually likes to headbutt. But anyway, um, now he's just going to hang on my shirt. But wonderful boy, just needs a home and just needs you to come and rescue him. And remember, by adopting John, you are truly saving his life. So let's do it. Let's save this boy. Come on down and rescue John. And I tell you what, folks, some of the dogs just get so excited when we bring them in this room. And who can blame them? They probably think they're getting adopted. They get out of their cage and they get to go run around in the yard area. And then they come in here, they're probably thinking, woohoo, it's my time.
time to go. But Lulu, you know, we want to get her on the show so that we can get her adopted. But unfortunately, she's not adopted yet. I mean, she's a really wonderful dog. Um, she's very excited because she just snuck her way into the cat room and had a peek at the kitty cats and thinks it's time to go play and make some new friends. Um, but we're not quite ready to put you with the kitty cats yet, Lulu. This girl is a boxer mix. She's about four years old. She's hanging out at A12. And she was picked up as a stray from 61 Arnco 4th Street. Now, this girl is heartworm positive. I do need to mention that. Um, it's not the end of the road for her. Lulu can get heartworm treatment that you do not have to pay for. Let me say it again. You do not have to pay for the heartworm treatment. We have a wonderful donor who has given funds to cover heartworm treatments on any of the rescue dogs here at Animal Services. Not just Lulu, but any of them. And so... So this girl, you know, you won't have to pay for the heartworm treatments. We'll take care of that for you, and then you get a wonderful dog in return. And I tell you what, for four years old, she's got lots and lots of energy left in her. Beautiful black and white coloring. We love this girl. Very special girl. So if you're interested in Lulu, hurry on down here to Animal Services. Let them know that you want to adopt her, and they'll contact the person that will cover the heartworm treatments, and then you get a wonderful dog in return. So come on down and rescue Lulu. Let me know. Okay, guys, I tell you what, we are still crawling with kittens here at Animal Services, and these little boys are growing up here. Now, the one that is just giving me all kinds of silly kisses on my nose is Alvin, and the other boy here that has more black on him is Theo. So, these two boys are hanging out in C23. They're both what we call the tuxedo kitties because they kind of look like they're all dressed up in a tuxedo. Now Alvin, I will say, is a little bit more energetic and a little bit more affectionate. And Theo is much more laid back. He's still affectionate, but he's much more laid back. So we kind of have two silly boys with two different personalities, but both are absolutely adorable. These two boys have been here way too long. They've been here since June and they are just so ready to go to their new home. So if you're interested in little Alvin or little Theo, <laughs> I love these little boys and there's still lots of kittens left here folks so if you're looking for a kitten definitely now is the time to come down to Animal Services and get some of these guys. We'd love for these two boys to go together but they don't have to be adopted together. Of course we want to make sure everybody here at Animal Services gets a home so if you take two instead then that would certainly help them out because they've grown up together and then it would help animal services out because they are super overcrowded so now i'm gonna have to go because it's crawling with kittens around here so if you want alvin or theo come on down and rescue these boys and guys now we would like to present little miss pippa to you this pretty girl is a black mouth cur that is her breed and of course we have to say she's a mix because we never know what all they're mixed with when you get a shelter dog here at animal services but this pretty girl is only three years old she's hanging out in b13 and she was picked up as a stray from Wesley Trail. Now she is heartworm negative. She's had all of her shots. She's been dewormed and she is just so ready to go to a new home. And what a sweet girl she is. And we love her size. Our volunteer Amanda was just commenting on how Pippa is medium size. She's not too big. She's not too small. She is just right. And maybe her name should be Goldilocks, right? <laughs> but such a sweet girl. And of course, you know, we nicknamed her Pippa, but you can name her anything you want as long as you just name her something and take her home that's all she wants so if you're interested in this sweet pretty girl then hurry on down here to animal services because she is just ready to give you lots of kisses too and she would love nothing more than to, for you to take her home and she will be eternally grateful to you for rescuing her so come on down and rescue Pippa she's down here at animal services just snacking away but waiting more than anything to be your best friend <laughs> Hey guys, look at this silly boy. This is Eureka, and I tell you what, not every cat will let you put them on their back and rub their belly, but he loves it. Oh, it's so ticklish to him. And oh my gosh, I was just laughing. I don't know if I can show you his teeth or not. Let's see if I can do this. Weird. <laughs> He is cracking me up. He looks like a black bat. I mean, he just has a silly, crazy look like a bat. He's just looking at the whole world upside down. His nickname is Eureka. 
Um, I don't know how he got that nickname, but I just say, Eureka, we have found a cat. But this boy here is hanging out in C15. He is one of three, I believe, and I know his other sibling just got adopted, so we want to make sure he gets adopted too. But what an awesome personality this boy has. Whoop, and he's going to jump. <laughs> That's why they call you Eureka, because they're like, Eureka, I made it out of here. But he is absolutely wonderful. He's been purring up a storm ever since I got him out of the cage. His big brother, uh, I think his name was Magma, just got adopted. And so Eureka's going to be all alone in his cage, plus he is at a, just a super, super high risk because he is on the next euthanasia list. We don't know when those euthanasias will occur. We just know that he's on that list and we don't want this boy to lose his life simply because he doesn't have a home. He's still a baby. He's only been here since June. He was picked up as a stray from Roscoe Road. And I would say by his size, he's probably about four months old, but still a baby. And I mean, oh my gosh, look at his beautiful jet black silky. I mean, it's just silky soft and shiny, healthy fur and then he's got these big gold eyes just, just kind of just look like they actually look sort of like copper pennies set back in his face but such a sweet boy loves belly rubs and it's just so silly and fun and he's hanging out in c15 just waiting for somebody to come and give him his forever home so if you want this boy hurry on down because we don't want to see him lose his life and we don't know when those euthanasias will occur we want to make sure that eureka does not end up um being put down here at Animal Services. So come on down, rescue Eureka, and let this boy live and let him have a home and he will be a wonderful companion to you and your family. So come on down and rescue Eureka. And our loyal viewers may recognize this boy. He has been on our show before. This is Hickory, and he is just so patiently waiting his turn to be adopted. This handsome fellow was picked up as a stray from Corinth Road. He is hanging out in A4. Now he's on the outside kennel area, so that's why he's panting a little bit. It's starting to warm up a little bit, but thank goodness fall is on the way, and it's so nice to wake up in the morning with those 60 temps, you know, 60, uh, 60 degree temps. And I know he's appreciating that. But this handsome fellow, like I said, has been waiting his turn since May. He's heartworm negative. He's had a shots. He's been dewormed. He is a terrier mix. He's about two and a half years old. And he is just so ready to go to his forever home. He's a handsome boy, black with a little bit of white on his face, a little white on his paws, and just as sweet as he can possibly be. So if you're interested in hickory, please hurry on down here to Animal Services. Now, as far as I know, there, as far as I know, there's not a euthanasia list for the dogs yet, but that doesn't mean that one won't pop out since there is one for the cats right now. So any of these dogs that have been here since May or June, they are really, really at high risk of losing their lives here at Animal Services. So if you want this boy, hurry on down here and get him. He's a handsome fella and he will do right by you and your family and be a wonderful, loyal companion to each and every one of you. So come on down and rescue Hickory because this boy is just waiting for you. And folks, this precious girl, Sarah, is absolutely terrified. And who can blame yeah. her? She didn't do anything to be here at Animal Services except get lost. She keeps pulling a little bit from me, so that's why she's looking so hunched-backed. But she's just terrified. She's a gorgeous girl. She's a Duluth tortie. She's a to got the tortoise shell look. But we call it Duluth because it's got kind of the muted colors. Beautiful, beautiful girl hanging out in C31. She was picked up as a stray from Cannon Road. She is at least a year old. And she is just, like I said, terrified. Hanging out in our cat room number two. There's a cat room number one that you'll notice that has windows. And there's no doubt there are cats in there. But don't forget cat room number two. She wants to jump down and prowl around the room. There's a cat room number two that has a small window. And you can see there's kitty cats in there. And you are welcome to go in there even if the door is shut because that's where Miss Sarah is. Now this girl's been here since the end of June and it's no wonder she's getting a little bit more accustomed to being in her cage than being out here. But she really just needs the safety and security of being in a home. And then you're gonna get to see her personality just blossom. So if you're interested in pretty Sarah and you wanna give her some extra TLC and help her to feel safe, that would be wonderful and she will love you for life for that. So come on down and rescue Sarah. Sometimes 
sometimes you just can't get them to calm down because they're so excited to be here. And Lady is definitely all kind of wound up. There's a lot of guests here at Animal Services that are checking out dogs and cats. And so she wants to be everybody's friend. And she is just going crazy with happiness and joy. I mean, this is a happy dog. <laughs> And Lady here is a terrier mix. She's at least a year old, hanging out in B8. She was also one of those dogs that came in confiscated from a cruelty case. But you would never know that anyone was ever mean to this dog because she is not phased by it whatsoever and is one of the happiest dogs I think we've ever seen here at Animal Services. She's got beautiful brindle markings. She's just as happy as she can be with that tail, just a wagon. And she is just so ready for somebody to go take her. You know, if you're an active family and you want a dog that likes to run or maybe you like to go hiking and you want a dog that will go with you camping or just anything like that, this is definitely the girl for you. She would love all of that and even more. So if you're interested in Lady, hurry on down here to Animal Services and rescue this girl. She has been waiting for her turn since May and she is so ready to be home with you. So come on down and rescue Lady. Oh guys, I tell you what, we love these big kitty cats here at Animal Services. This is Stanley, and Stan is the man. We love this boy. He is just so ready to go to a home though. I mean, he doesn't want to be in that cage, and we don't want to see him in there. He's a very sweet brown tabby. He's got these wonderful white markings on him. Actually, he's more of a gray tabby. He's got this wonderful white on his face and his neck and his paws. And he's just really laid back. So if you're looking for a cat that's really, really chilled out, then definitely this would be the boy for you. Now, Stanley is hanging out at C20. That is his cat condo number. And this handsome fella has already been neutered, so you actually will get a reduced rate on the adoption fee, unless he's had other medical expenses while he's been here. But the adoption fee covers neutering or spaying, it covers all of their shots, it covers them to be microchipped. So because it covers the neutering and he's already neutered, you do get a discount. Now this boy, it looks like he was picked up from Corn Crib. He is. He's had his shots, he's been dewormed, he is just so ready to go, and he is only a year old. So if you're interested in this handsome guy, and you just want a cat that's just gonna chill on your lap all day long, then definitely this is the boy for you. So come on down and rescue Stanley. This handsome fella is just waiting to sit in your lap as well and just purr the day away. <laughs> And folks, this pretty girl is Paisley, and we have had her on our show before, so our loyal viewers may recognize her. She is hanging out and looks like in B20. She's a terrier mix, at least a year old. She was picked up as a stray from Glenda Trace wearing a red collar, so we know she was somebody's pet, but because she's been here since June, she's been here such a long time that you know we don't think that her mom and dad are gonna come back. Although we love to reunite pets with their owners, that hasn't happened for Paisley, so we do need to make sure that she does get a home. So she's heartworm negative, she's had her shot, she's been dewormed, and she is just so ready to go home and play with someone and be their loyal companion and be part of your family. So if you're interested in Paisley, hurry on down to the Animal Services and rescue this sweet girl because she would like nothing more than to warm your heart and your home with all the love she has to give. So come on down and rescue Paisley. <laughs> Hey guys, this special boy has the nickname Ed, and when I went to get him out of his cage, he turned on his back and was stretching and was just playing with my hand and loving on me. And now that I've got him out here in this room, he's like, ooh, this is kind of big and scary. So he's really not too sure about all of this, but I can tell you that he really is very sweet and very affectionate. Now, Ed here is hanging out in C29. He just realized there's another cat room. Look at him, he's looking at the other kitty cats. Uh, but this boy here is right at about a year old. He was picked up as a stray from East Broad Street. They scanned him, no microchip. Don't forget, you can microchip your cats as well as your dogs. So he didn't have any type of ID, no collar, no tags, no nothing. So he ended up here at Animal Services and he's just so ready to go to a home. I mean, he, he's an orange male tabby. They're super sweet, super affectionate, and he is just, 
you know, trying to understand how in the world he ended up here because he didn't do anything wrong. He just got lost. So if you're interested in Ed, he would love nothing more than to just be your best friend and purr the day away in your lap and just be content in your home and giving you lots of love. So come on down and rescue Ed. This boy has a heart of gold and he wants to share that with you. So come on down and rescue Ed. And folks, this is Willow and our volunteer Amanda's gotten on the floor with her because poor Willow is so scared. She's such a sweet dog and she does great when she's, you know, when she's outside, but coming in here, she doesn't really know what's happening and, and what's going on. And so she gets a little shy and, but just such a pretty girl. She's a collie mix. She's at least a year old, hanging out in B16. That's her kennel number. Now, she was also a court case um, picked up just we don't know what her story is, but you know what? She's a wonderful dog. She just needs somebody to understand what it's like to be scared in this great big world when you've done nothing wrong. So, of course, she's given some sweet kisses to our volunteer, Amanda, but this girl, Willow, is just precious. Beautiful coloring. I, I was calling her milk chocolate because she just has that really pretty light chocolate look. But just, like I said, needs somebody to understand she needs some extra TLC. So if you're interested in Willow, hurry on down here to Animal Services and rescue this girl, and we will have a best friend for life. So come on down and rescue Willow. And that is our show for today, folks. Thank you so very much for tuning in. If you would like to find out more about what our group is doing in the community, please do visit our website at nchsrescue.org. And go ahead and like our Facebook page while you're online because you can find out a lot of information on there. Sometimes it's a little easier for us to update the Facebook page more frequently than our website. So you can get some more current information about adoption events we're holding, which, by the way, we are still holding adoption events at PetSmart in Noonan on Sundays, generally from about 12, 12.30 to about 3 o'clock. But come by and say hi. We've got all of the pets that we have in our foster program. And in case you're wondering where those foster pets come from, well, they come from here. When those animals pop up on the euthanasia list, our group gets busy and we do what we can to find foster homes for those pets until they can get a forever home. So if you're interested in fostering, which we really need fosters right now, then definitely give us a shout out and we will put a pet in your home just temporarily for short term until we can find um, a forever home, like I said, for it. Also, we are in dire need in our pet food pantry for pet food. We need, we need kitten food, we need cat food, we need dog food, we need puppy food. So if you can make donations, please contact us for that as well. Not just for our pet food pantry, but for the pets that we're housing now at our new building. We have a building on Highway 29. We are holding some adoptions there as well on Saturdays. It's called Pokey's Place. And so you'll want to go to our website to find out when the adoptions are being held there. But we are in dire need of kitten food for sure right now, but always need all types of pet food donations. So there's lots of ways you can help. Even if you can't volunteer, there's so many more ways. So take a look at our website and find out how you can get plugged in. And also just want to make sure that I thank everyone who makes this show possible. Thank you to Coweta County Animal Services for allowing us to come down to your facility and showcase all of the wonderful, highly adoptable, highly affectionate pets that you have down here for us to showcase. Thank you to New Link for making this show possible and sending us Jake, our fantastic cameraman that fills in for Laura, who we miss. We miss you, Laura. Um, but she'll be back next week to film the show. And thank you to our volunteers who give up their time and their love to to try to make our county a no homeless pets county and guys when you're just walking around this world and you're thinking wow where can I make a difference come down here and adopt one of these pets and I tell you what you are making all the, the world of a difference to them by saving their lives so thank you so much for tuning in we hope that you enjoyed the show and we'll catch you next time on adopt a pet